All right, welcome back. Let's talk about weather. Let's head over to the weather wall. Lisa Montgomery is waiting for us. Crazy day out there, Lisa. You've been busy. You left all your notes over here. <laughs> I did. We've yeah, got what? Let me do weather. We've got a hazardous weather outlook. Watches, warnings, advisories. A wind advisory. You know, honestly, I think I might be able to do weather today. Really? I might. Come I, on I don't up know, here, actually. Marvin. I probably should. I, um, people are upset with y'all today because <laughs> there's a Purdue game, and yeah. um, I think I heard it was, was it sold out? Yeah, it was sold out. Yes, sold out. And the weather's game. just not shaping And it's up. not good. Yeah, <laughs> it's not good. We've got some very high winds uh, for today. In fact, we could have gusts as high as 60, 65 miles per hour. That's for the northwest corner of the viewing area, Newton, Jasper, Benton counties, everybody else under a wind advisory. That's a high wind warning for those three counties. Everybody else under a wind advisory. Our wind gusts could be as high as 55 miles per hour, and this is going to continue through much of the Purdue game. So we're looking at some rainy conditions. It's very damp out there, and we do have the winds, but at least it is mild. We're taking a look now at our tower cam here at the station, and you can see how it's shaking there in the winds when we are looking at Sagamore Parkway. And I'll tell you, it's been busy this morning. It must be the Purdue game. Boy, it was busy last night, too, if you were out and about uh, all across the area. So we are looking at current wind gusts. You can see we're as high as 38 miles per hour. Uh, in Rensselaer. These are going to continue to pick up as a cold front works its way through. Headed to the Purdue game. I hmm, don't know what to tell you. Rain gear, the umbrella is not going to help because it's going to be so windy, but you do want to try to stay dry and stay warm. We've got mostly cloudy skies with those damp conditions. Scattered showers throughout the afternoon. Noontime, we're looking at some scattered showers uh, at kickoff. 61. So our temperatures are going to hold steady here in the upper 50s to the low 60s from here on out. And then we will see our numbers fall tonight, but another nice, we got a nice looking day for our Sunday. It's going to be a different day. So let's Let's get through for this morning. We're looking at those showers kind of decreasing intensity in intensity a little bit here. We do have a yellow pocket pushing through uh, Deer Creek, Logan Sport stretching down through north of Rossville, but you can see already drier conditions to the west of us. We could have some leftover showers as you can see what's happening here, even snow in Kansas, but this is a strong system. Look at all the tornado reports uh, across Texas, Oklahoma. There have been confirmed tornadoes with damage and even some injuries, so at least we're not dealing with that, but we will be dealing with those strong winds. We're talking about possibly some down trees, some down power lines, and we're already hearing that uh, in parts of Benton County. And uh, also, if you're doing any driving, driving can be difficult today, too, because this is what we're forecasting. By 1.30, we are looking at a, some gusts up to around 50 miles per hour, and that is going to continue through this evening. Then we'll begin to see things begin to subside as far as those winds. Still a little breezy, even for tomorrow, but we're looking much better. And we will have some sunshine tomorrow tomorrow too. So it will be a nice day once we get through today. Saturday this afternoon around 2.30 for the Purdue game. We're still looking at some scattered showers with those strong winds. And then already by 4.30, much of the area should be dry. It will be cloudy, but then by 7, 7.30, already clearing skies from west to east. So it will be clear overnight. That's going to allow us to cool off a bit. We'll drop down into the 40s, but another uh, warm day tomorrow. In fact, we'll be back up into the 60s. A little breezy, but we'll have sunshine. And by the way, do not forget to turn your clocks back one hour. It is time to fall back, so you typically do this before you head for bed. Uh, and we are looking at tomorrow, 64, mostly sunny. Look at the stretch of nice weather, though. Tuesday, Election Day, get out and vote. No excuses as far as the weather is concerned. Mostly sunny, 61. Near 70 on Wednesday, even Thursday. Maybe some rain for next weekend. Marvin? Yes, just got to get past today.